Hello again. This time I'm going to show you how to debug a program in OCaml. In OCaml, we can actually debug a program using the command OCaml debug. So one word, OCaml debug. Um, now, when we compile a, a, an OCaml program, we might, oh, of course, we compile it with OCaml C in this case. So we learned about OCaml C and OCaml opt before, but this time we compile it with OCaml C um, and use OCaml debug. So the, the OCaml debug is similar to the GNU GDB program. It allows us to have breakpoints, uh, set breakpoints in our programs, and whenever a breakpoint is reached, the control is returned to the debugger so that the program variables can be examined, basically, yes? Now, always if you want to debug a program, when you compile it, of course compile it with OCaml C and then remember to have the minus G option. So you can compile a program and have a minus G option. Let's have a look and see how this works. Now this is our code from before, where we have the function that reads the file line by line, all that, and then my fun, which is the main one. By the way, some of you ask does OCaml have like a main function like C or Java? The answer is no, it doesn't. But basically what we do is we have our functions in our source files and then we can have a main file. We can never name it whatever we want and then they will all there must always be a starting point. So this is the starting point for execution. I call this function and then from there uh, other functions call one another. Anyway, in my fun I've added this for loop if you can see it. So this is the code we had before. Let me comment it out by the way. This is the code we had before. We don't need it at the moment. And save. So what I've done here is I've added. Uh, we don't need semicolon because of the last, last statement. We what I've done is uh, I had this for loop. I know, you know this is not a very functional way of uh, programming. I just wanted to demonstrate how this the, the debugging works. So the for loop it loop let's say five times from zero to four and then print end line enter something and then wh what I do here is I read from the standard input so input line from the standard input save it into a line and then use printf to print that line out uh, so let me save the program run it for example we don't need the str uh, no I think we need it so let's r let's run it quickly run it so enter something say so one two three four five it, it just prints out whatever we we actually enter, right? So we go back to our code now. Uh, let's, for example, look at this line here, enter something. It's line number 16, right? As you can see, line number 16. So we'll look at this now. If we want to debug, we compile with the minus G option. So OCaml C with the minus G option. And then what we do is, whenever we want to uh, debug we use OCaml debug and then we give it the executable we run the program and now we have the debugger switched on as you can see now as as long as the, debug, the debugger is switched on we can for example type help if we want and it gives us various uh, you know commands and things like that list of commands cd complete da 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 da, da. but what we can do here is uh, we can set up a breakpoint yes break by using command break and then at and then we give it the program name which is line it's it's becoming a module now so we, we I'm sorry it's file actually we use capital F file and say n line number 16 and as you can see now it's telling us that breakpoint is set at line 16 and file.ml yes the reason we specify a file name because we may have multiple files in our project now what I can say is I can say run it does one iteration, it tells me there's a breakpoint at that line number 16 if you remember line number 16 which is this line here so that's telling me there's a breakpoint there and now it's telling me to enter something um, and this is now waiting for me for my excuse so I, I can say one oh no I need to say run by the way yeah I say run and now it's waiting for me, waiting, waiting for me to enter something. Yes, three, and then I can say run again. So that's the break, the second time, not the breakpoint. I say run, and then enter maybe four. I can say run again, and enter maybe five. Run again, again. If you can see the breakpoint again, run maybe six, and then run again, 
maybe seven and the program has exited we finished executing and then if I want to exit what I can say is for example uh, and notes that it is telling me actually you have entered six if I entered seven so that's the print if statement here and then I can just do control D or quit and I can exit let's have a look another uh, another look at the help command so these are uh, list of commands I can do quit if I want it's telling me the program is running quit anyway so just say yes and it'll quit so that's how you uh, just a simple way uh, or simple tutorial to show you how you can debug an OCaml program thank you very much again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time